I'm terrible at taking notes. I always have been. I think it's probably linked to the fact that I'm terrible at multitasking. If I'm in a conversation or watching something, I'm focused on that, not taking notes about it. Essentially, stopping to take notes pulls me out of the moment. So when Plaud asked if I'd check out their notes and note pin products, I was really intrigued. Both use hardware and artificial intelligence to change how you take notes. Now, Plaud has sent me these products at no cost to myself, but they are fully aware that I'll be giving an honest interpretation of these products, and they have no editorial control over my script for this video. So let's take a look at the Plaud Note and the Plaud Note Pin. Both devices are essentially voice recorders. You speak, they capture audio and store it on internal storage. The Plaud Note attaches to the back of your iPhone via a MagSafe compatible pocket for easy access. If you don't have a MagSafe phone, a small magnetic sticker in the box makes it compatible. The Note pin, however, is wearable. You can use it as a necklace, clip it on like a lavalier microphone, or attach it to your wrist with the included accessory, which makes it look like a Fitbit. To start recording, you press a single button and talk. The Plaud Note has a physical button at the top. Hold it until you feel a slight buzz, then talk. The Note pin requires you to press down in the center, which can be a bit tricky, although I'll talk more about that in a moment. A red light indicates that you're recording. Battery life on the Plaud Note lasts up to 30 hours of continuous recording with 60 days of standby time and 64 gigabytes of storage. The Note pin gives 20 hours of recording time and 40 days of standby with the same storage capacity. Once you've got audio onto your devices, you'll then be syncing the devices with your phone via the Plaud app. This is all done via Bluetooth and it doesn't take long. I've recorded phone conversations that are almost 20 minutes in length and I've still been able to transfer them to my phone in less than 30 seconds. Once that's done, you'll have a copy of the audio file itself, which you can review or lightly edit. An AI speech enhancement allows you to boost the voices in the recording if needed. But the really interesting part comes when you tap the generate button. This uploads the audio file to one of two AI models available at the time of making this video, ChatGPT4 or Claude 3.5. You can choose which one you want to use and the artificial intelligence will create a transcript, summary and mind map of the audio recording for you. And this, of course, is the major selling point of Plaud. If all this was just a voice recorder, you'd struggle to differentiate it from products that have existed for decades. The fact that you're using AI to do something with these audio recordings is what makes this a more interesting value proposition. The transcripts, in my experience, are really accurate, probably because artificial intelligence is more than just a dictation device. It can utilize real world knowledge and understand context to make sense of even the most fragmented recordings you put into it. In my testing, I use this on lengthy phone calls, as well as by positioning the recorders next to my computer and playing things like YouTube videos, podcasts, and TED Talks, and I was really impressed with the quality of the transcripts that the app created in a matter of seconds. As standard, the app also creates summaries and mind maps. I didn't find the mind maps especially useful, although I'm perhaps not the target audience for them, but the summaries are great, and it is worth pointing out that you get 20 professional templates for things like meetings, lectures, job interviews, and others. I'll give you a real world example. My wife and I are in the process of trying to sell our home. And as part of that, we're having a lot of calls with solicitors, mortgage advisors, estate agents, all the usual people that you talk to in this situation. I've been using the Plaud Notes and the Plaud Note Pin to obviously, with people's permission, record the phone calls that we're having. So an 18 minute call that I had at the beginning of the month with a mortgage advisor was quickly turned into a summary that included an overview, a breakdown of everything talked about in the call, and even some action items at the bottom of the summary that I could use to tick off as things were being completed by me or by the person that I was speaking to. There's even an Ask AI feature that allows me to have the AI extract all of the key metrics from the summary extract conclusions or pretty much anything else that you'd be able to do using these AI tools. Although this is only available as part of a paid subscription. It's really impressive. And the real world benefit to me is that not only do I have an audio recording of the conversation, but I also have a summary that I can refer back to myself or share with my wife, for example, if it's a call that I had that she wasn't able to attend. We actually had a situation the other day where we were disagreeing about something that had been said on one of the calls. All I had to do was go back find the call in the Plaud app, 
go to the summary and I could isolate the specific point that was made and confirm a specific financial number that we were disagreeing on. My wife was correct if you're interested. In terms of phone call recording, technically both of the devices can do this, although one has a distinct advantage over the other. If you're capturing a phone call where you're using the phone in speaker mode, I would say that you can use both of these devices and they'll both function equally well. But if you wanna hold the phone to your ear and use it that way, you have to use the Plaud Note and that's because it has a dual engine function. The Plaud Note has two buttons, one to record and one to choose the recording type. With the recording type button pushed up, the recorder can then be attached to your phone and the recorder will be able to pick up both your voice as you speak into the phone and the audio being transmitted from the phone thanks to some clever microphone technology. A benefit that Plaud talks about when comparing this with Apple's built-in recording is the fact that you can just hit the record button on the Plaud note and the recording will begin. Technically, the person at the other end of the call doesn't know that you're recording them. Obviously, with the iPhone, when you press the record call button in the phone app, an announcement is made to everyone on the call, letting them know that it's being recorded. Just a reminder, of course, that you should always follow the laws in your country or state regarding the recording of phone conversations. Also, Plaud does support 59 languages of transcription. Okay, so let's explore the pros and cons of these devices, and we'll start with the pros. The first pro, in my opinion, is that the system works. It does everything that Plaud claims the products are able to do. I've been really impressed with the quality of the summaries and the transcriptions that these devices have been able to create. Both of the devices are small, lightweight, and unassuming, and I do think that this is an advantage over something like a smartphone. I think you could walk into a meeting, an interview, a press conference, or something similar, and place either one of these devices down near a speaker, and they wouldn't feel intimidated by either of them. The wearability of the Plaud Note pin is also definitely an advantage that it has over a smartphone. Plaud talks about some of the jobs that they think would benefit from using a device like this, whether it's a real estate agent, a teacher, a doctor, or a creative worker, who wants an effective way of capturing client information during a brief. In fact, when I was using this, it got me thinking about some of the other jobs that might benefit from something like this. Maybe you're a writer and you want something discreet and easy that you can take with you on a dog walk to speak your thoughts out loud, knowing that when you get back, all you have to do is transfer them to your phone and you've got everything captured. Maybe you're a journalist and you need something discreet that you can use when you're out conducting interviews. It's also worth noting that as of the time of making this video, you get all of the functionality that you need included in the cost of the devices without having to take out any additional subscription. The free tier gives you 300 monthly transcription minutes per month, access to nine professional summary templates, as well as features like speaker labels on the audio transcriptions, the ability to trim the audio, summaries and mind maps that we've been talking about, as well as AI speech enhancement. You can also export in formats like WAVE, PDF, Word documents, and more. You also get unlimited cloud storage via Plaud's private cloud setup. But if you decide you'd like more, you can subscribe to their pro package, which gives you everything in the free plan, along with 1200 monthly transcription minutes, more than 20 professional summary templates, the ability to create your own custom AI templates, and the Ask AI feature that I mentioned earlier. You can also buy transcription time in bundles. 120 minutes, for example, is currently priced at £2.99 in the app. Okay, so what about the cons of these devices? The build quality of both devices is really good, but the charging is a little bit frustrating. The Note pin, for example, does technically charge via USB-C, but in order for that to happen, you have to remove a part of the pin and then attach it to this little charging base. And it's the charging base that connects to USB-C. It's plastic and it's tiny and it's 100% the kind of thing that I am probably gonna lose and would then have to buy a replacement. As for the Plaud Note, it charges via a proprietary cable. So again, another thing that you're gonna have to keep around along with all of the other cables that you own. But that cable does double as a connector if you want to connect it to your PC instead of your phone. Another frustration is that while haptics have been added to both devices, on the Plaud Note, when you press and hold the capture button, you get an immediate haptic response to let you know that recording has started. The Note pin, however, relies on you pressing hard in the middle of the pin itself. The device doesn't really give way. There's no physical button or anything like that. You are essentially just pressing down on what feels like solid metal. Although you do get a haptic buzz to let you know that you've been successful, when you're wearing this as a wearable device, it can be quite difficult to operate. I've even had situations where I thought it was recording, 
only to look down and discover that it wasn't. I fully understand the desire to keep the design of this as neat and tidy as possible, but a physical button like the one on the Plaud Note would have made a massive improvement here. So let's address the elephant in the room. Why isn't this just an app? What makes this different from devices like the Rabbit R1 or the Humane AI Pin, which are essentially AI products wrapped in hardware? Firstly, this is an app. You go to the App Store, download the Plaud AI app to your phone, and you can register with your Apple ID to access it. But the only way to unlock the free starter plan is by binding a Plaud device. So that's your incentive. If you want to access the app features, you will need a device in order to do so. But one of the great features of the app is that you can import audio from the Files app on your phone or even other apps like Dropbox or Google Drive. You can then run those files through the exact AI algorithms that you'd use with the audio that you've pulled from your Plaud device. So I realized the other day that I'd recorded a pretty lengthy phone call with a mortgage consultant using my phone's built-in phone recorder. Although I wasn't especially impressed with the AI summary that Apple Intelligence gave me, I figured I'd run it through Plaud and see what that did instead. I got the exact same high quality transcription and summary that I'd get if I'd captured the audio on the Plaud device itself. This alone isn't enough of a reason to buy one of these products, but it's a nice additional feature if you do decide to get one. You're not restricted to just the audio that you're pulling in from the Plaud devices. I think in trying to answer the why is this not just an app question, you inadvertently also answered the who is this for question, because the answers to both are essentially the same. Plaud products aren't for the kind of person who's already happy with the way that they can capture audio on their phone. This isn't for someone who never needs to transcribe audio and run it through an AI tool like ChatGPT. This is for someone who's gonna be capturing a lot of audio on a fairly frequent basis and would benefit from being able to have that audio quickly and efficiently transcribed and summarized using state-of-the-art artificial intelligence while not having to rely on their phone. In the business world, this could be a hiring manager for a major company who's running four or five interviews every day and doesn't have the time to write up all of their notes. In the education space, this could be a student who attends three lectures a week, but also watches loads of TED Talks and online seminars, trying to understand as much as possible about their chosen subject. In the creative world, this could be an author who gets their best ideas when they're driving the car or walking the dog and wouldn't be in a position to use their phone to capture that kind of audio anyway. A simple tap of a device that's attached to their coats or dangling around their neck would help them out. On a personal level, this is for someone who's making calls a lot and wants an easy and reliable way of recording those calls for whatever reason. All of these are, of course, niche use cases, but that's kind of the point. There are lots of situations where a device like this would be more preferable and more sensible than simply using your phone. So that's the Plaud Note and the Plaud Note Pin, two really interesting products in the digital transcription market. If either of these sound interesting to you, check out the links in the video description and you can get $5 off using my code PROPER.